gentleman popped up. He's about to pop up right here in two, one, bang! Kevin Smith, how are you? Hey. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. I am so excited to have you. Oh, absolutely. So we have a really interesting story. So, you know, people might be thinking, well, how the heck did you guys meet? <laughs> so, Sorry, what was that? I said, we have a pretty funny story how we met. Oh, yes, indeed. So yeah. you want me to tell it? Yeah, go ahead. So, Let's do it. So my, my son and I were down at Black Rapids um, to, to do my, uh, I do a TGIF song, a TGIF song every, uh, every Friday. It's like a happy, happy Friday song. Um, just to help put a smile on people's faces and try to make them feel better if they've had a rough week. I've been doing them every Friday since May 1st. And uh, so I try I try to, uh, I always pick songs that I really love and uh, and I try my best at playing guitar and, and singing them. Um, I'm not a natural guitar player nor a singer. I'm actually uh, music pick drums for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually a drummer, but right now during uh, the COVID pandemic, there's uh, not a not a big uh, not a big supply for uh, loud drums. So uh, so I had to keep myself busy, and uh, so I decided to start picking up my guitar a little bit more and and uh, and uh, singing some songs, and I'm having a blast with it. People are I'm getting lots of great feedback. So. We were down at Black Rapids, my son and I. My son's my vide videographer, and uh, and uh, and that's when I when, when I met your family, and I was on the dock singing the song, and and I met your husband first, and uh, and uh, so we started talking, and and then uh, he, he was he, he was like shushing the kids and everything when I was doing the video, and it was hilarious, and uh, so I finished it, and then. He, he caught me off guard and asked me, he goes, oh, that's all you're going to do? And because normally I have my book and all my songs are in my book and I didn't have my book with me. I only really prepared one song to do down there. And uh, so so I, uh, I, I, I did uh, end up playing a CCR song for him just out of the blue. And it turns out uh, CCR is one of his favorite bands. So I thought that was pretty cool. I, I couldn't have picked a better song to, to do and... Uh, and then uh, that's when we met after Kamal, and and uh, we had a, a glorious conversation. Uh, we talked a little bit about work, and 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 then how music is affecting, uh, uh, how music has been affected by the pandemic. And um, you know, it's uh, some of my friends are having uh, who who rely on music uh, as their livelihood uh, are having a really tough time. But what I'm really happy to see is a lot of them are figuring out ways around it. And, uh, and so that makes me really happy to see that they've they've been able to kind of create something out of nothing, and uh, just shows how how an artist, uh, if he puts his mind to, if he puts his mind to it, he can he or she can really figure out a way around it. So I'm really happy to see a lot of the live feeds, and uh, and honestly, if you have a couple of if you have some spare change, hit their tip jars and 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 give them a, a little thumbs up and. A little donation because because a little bit goes a long way right now for for some of these for some of my musician friends so uh so yeah we and you know and and also uh, i love this site um I, i'm a huge supporter of local businesses um i i rarely go to the big big stores and uh so i try to shop local uh and i and i try to go to the smaller restaurants not the big chain restaurants and order takeout um, so if we all do our part, we can we can start stimulating the economy. I'm sure, and uh, and 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 you know, I, I tell my son all the time. He's he's 16, so he's he's kind of in a weird place right now. And I just tell him, you know what? You you just have to be positive. Uh, you know, uh, stay stay positive, um, stay happy, try to do things that make you happy, and and we'll get to the other side of this before we even know it. And, and you know what, it, it, it's just going to end up being a campfire story in a few years. So uh, hopefully, it. you know, you guys can all just try to stay positive. Do something that makes you happy for yourself every now and then because uh, we're, we're trying to do so much for other people. But uh, don't forget, you got to do something for yourself as well to make you happy. And and that's why I do these songs. That's, that's why I... 
I started doing these songs. They're for me, and uh, turns out they're actually uh, they're actually making a lot of other people happy as well. So that uh, that's that's all that's all I that's all I was hoping for. I. Uh, that's amazing, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, you know what? You just nailed all uh, the points right there. I mean, you have such a big heart. And I think that's why, you know, the universe connects people in mysterious ways. I believe that. And uh, I'm just very thankful for you coming here. I think, again, like you said, if everyone can do their part, I think it's a time to be really noble in that sense. And, you know, um, whether you're a musician, I'm in the tech space. And, you know, if you can volunteer your time to do good, um, you know, please do. Uh, we need one another. And uh, for all the kids out there, I know it's tough. I have a lot of friends um, with, you know, kids that, you know, that age and uh, just try to do things like you said, take the time to explore and be happy. And, uh, you know, like you said, we'll get through everything, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We will for sure. I really appreciate that. And that's um, another great message is, you know, why support local means so much. I know, um, you know, technology has, you know, kind of tipped us to, you know, a, a path that is, you know, almost uh, a little bit scary at some times, but uh, it, it really is a time to support local, you know, our restaurants, our retail, our musicians, our Canadian authors, I mean, they put their heart and soul, um, their talent, their love for what they do. And, you know, if you're going to spend uh, uh, some money to support, why not support Canadian, support local, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Couldn't have said it any better. Awesome. So Kevin, I wanted to learn a little bit more, I mean, about uh, the Barrow Gang Buskers. So what an interesting group you have uh, doing amazing things, talking about giving back and doing work in the community. Tell us more about that. That's it. So so that was uh, so uh, uh, the, the bass player, Rob, and, and, and uh, our lead uh, uh, singer and guitar player, uh, George uh, Stryker, uh, came up with this idea in about in, in around January, they started talking about it. They sort of met at an open mic and started talking about it. Uh, George used to uh, go out busking all the time when he was young, and uh, he loved it. And so uh, I guess I guess Rob caught some uh, caught some videos of this uh, way back in the '80s, and he said, "Man, I'd really love to do that with you." He goes, "What's uh, you know what's going on?" And then all of a sudden, whammo, we're hit with a pandemic. And uh, so um, they 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 were still talking about it and and how to make it possible and they they kept calling me and and I was I was so locked into phase one I was like yeah I'm not gonna have anything to do with this and and George kept telling me he goes okay well we're gonna wait for you when you're ready Kev well, <laughs> you, you're you're gonna be the drummer you have to be the drummer uh, there's no ifs ands or buts about it and uh, so it was yeah January February uh, about early March. And uh, ding dong, my doorbell goes off. And I'm like, who's coming to my door? Who goes to anybody's door right now? <laughs> so I look outside and there, him and Rob are on my front lawn with their guitars and, and, and Rob's big stand-up bass. And they're like, come out and jam. We want you to see what, it, what it's like. And so sure enough, I, I, uh, I grab my box. It's just a milk carton taped up with cardboard. And uh, uh, it was uh, a good friend of mine, Jeff Jeff Tange's idea a long, long time ago. And uh, so I brought my box outside and we hammered out a bunch of songs for about an hour and a half and we were all far apart. And, and just seeing like people walk down the sidewalk and they're like, I thought I heard music and they're stopped and they're wave and they're smiling and their eyes are huge. And I'm just like, you know what? I think this might just well work. So we went out that that following weekend uh, down to Minto Park on Elgin, and I, you know, I was blown away by how happy people were to see this all acoustic band. There's no electronics. There's no mics. There's no PA. It's just us, six feet apart on the lawn. We bring pylons, we put pylons around us, to, and we remind everybody, you know, stay safe, stay apart, you know, and, and everybody finds their place on the grass, in the shade, and and some people are dancing, and some people are singing, and, and everybody is just having an amazing time, and so we thought, you know what, this is really cool. And, and, and we talked about it, and we're like, we were seeing people throwing $20 bills into our guitar case and we're like man this is crazy and 
how you know how could we make this even even better and and so we came up with the idea that we are going to donate the money that we're making to charities so we we've already donated to um to an indigenous group uh we've donated to a, a group to uh help um um battered women and and we also wow. have chio on the books uh we're just trying to sort out a time when we we've got uh i think we have so we've given three hundred dollars to each we have three hundred dollars for chio we're just uh, hooking up a time when we can make the money transfer we got invited out to kempville a few weeks ago and we were we had set a 20 percent. We we're going to give 20 percent of whatever they throw in the bucket to the kempville um uh it was their uh their food drive their um yeah and uh we ended up someone threw in a 50 dollar bill and we're like uh, we can't split this apart and so we said you know what okay they're getting 35 percent, and we gave them the 50 dollar bill that's so amazing it, it, you know we're, we're keeping yeah. a couple bucks to pay for gas and and drumsticks and and guitar strings but all pretty much, I would have to say about 80% of the money we've made so far has gone to charity. And you know what? You, I go to bed at night and I have that warm, fuzzy feeling knowing that, uh, you know, just, just I'm going out. I'm having a blast. I get to play live music with my friends in a, in a, in a band and, and during a, a, a COVID pandemic. And, and I just thought, you know, how cool is this, right? That's and, amazing. And, and the warmth of giving back just makes it all even better. And we're all on the same page. And now we're just like, okay, so we've done these three charities. Uh, who else can we, who else needs money, right? right. So, so, so we're going to, I was approached by somebody a couple of weekends ago uh, from Amnesty. So we're, we're probably going to add them. So what we decided was how about every month we pick three new charities and all the money that we make be, in that month was split three ways and, and we'll give them. So we haven't come up with our three for September yet. And uh, August is gonna be kind of, a, our, our bass player is a, is a bus driver. So he's, uh, he's got lots of shifts. So we kind of work around his schedule. And unfortunately nothing happened this weekend. Uh, he, was, he was really busy. And um, and I also uh, I'm in IT and and I, I'm on call every third week too. So when I'm on call, I I sometimes I sneak out, but, <laughs> but but I'm really not supposed to. As long as I have my phone with me, I'm good. If they can get a hold of me, I, I, as long as I'm about twenty minutes away, I'm good. So right, well that's, that's amazing. So that's, that's the deal. But so, you know what? That's so. We, yeah. uh, and, and I mean, uh, there, we, we don't get together and rehearse. Well, actually, that's sort of a lie. George, I know George and Rob get together. And, and, uh, and like you said, it's the Barrow Gang. So what we've adopted, and I, and I thought the idea was brilliant, was uh, the Bonnie and Clyde Barrow Gang. And so we all have our own uh, Barrow names. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Chuck Barrow. George is Clyde. His guitar is Bonnie. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> Rob is is uh, Buck, Buck Barrow. Uh, Jill Shipley is our, our female who plays the tambourine and shakers and has a beautiful, beautiful song voice. And she does all our harmonies and she, she's Blanche, Blanche Barrow. And then we've had all kinds of our musician friends who are just, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just like, where, where are you guys playing? I'll come, on, uh, I'll come hook up with you. So we've had Slow Tom out. He, he's wheels wheels barrel we've had ken workman he's uh uh <laughs> I, I changed his name on him he's hd <laughs> billy barrow and uh uh who else uh, jason king has come out he's dw barrow and nice. uh, um one other gent joined us i hadn't met him before um and i i can't think of his name off the top of my head but uh, if you go to the Barrel Gang Buskers page uh, on uh, Facebook, we have a. It's not Barrel Gang. You have, we couldn't get Barrel Gang. That name was taken, so we we just decided to go with Barrel Gang Buskers. I I think there's a link in 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 the post that you put up for the Barrel Gang. So you click on that, join our group, 
and uh, and and we're uh, we're not like super super organized. So if we're playing Saturday, we'll post it around 11 30, 12 o'clock when we decide where we're gonna be and what time we're gonna be there. And I can guarantee if it's raining, we're not going out. Because uh, you know. Yeah, so true pop-up style. We're not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that sounds fantastic. What a great big family you got, um, the Barrow Gang. So uh, great, Kevin. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, your stories, are, I just love them. And uh, so what song can we, uh, are we hearing tonight? Um, you've been keeping me, you know, in the in the mystery. So I'd love to hear All right, well, what you're playing. If, 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 if uh, for, for most of you, if you've tuned into my uh, Happy Friday songs, uh, I normally will cover uh, one of my most favorite bands or one of my most favorite songs. But uh, tonight, uh, tonight I thought I'd do something a little extra special, and I, I thought I'd do uh, I thought I'd do one of my own songs for you. I haven't I haven't posted any of my original songs, and uh, so I thought uh, you know I thought. I thought maybe uh, maybe I'll do uh, one of my original songs. So, believe it or not, uh, this was the very first song I ever wrote when I got my guitar. I was 16 years old, and I decided that I wanted to get a guitar, and I only wanted to learn how to play guitar to write songs. So I never I never wanted to be a guitar player in a band. Uh, I always loved hanging out in the back, in the in the in the dark back corner playing the drums. Uh, I always wanted to be the strong, uh, the, the the strong one who uh, who could be heard but not seen. I, I, I seem to really like that. So I'm gonna do a song for you. It's called Our World, and uh, it's kind of a little bit about a uh, little bit about how I thought the world was going back in the '80s, and uh, really uh, not a lot has changed. A little bit depressing, but. Uh, it's uh, this is a song of hope for sure. So yeah, it's called Our World. And uh, you want me to go ahead and start that? I would love to hear it. Uh, a little bit like this, you guys. Of this world they've built for 
Rust. Thank you very much. Oh my yes. God, that's great. You know me, I can't, I'm a, I, I love to dance. So for me, when I hear music, I, I, even if I'm sitting, I have to just, you know, roll it out. That was lovely. Thank you, Kevin. I could see out of the corner of my eye dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, I'm one of those. I wasn't look looking at, oh my God, how does that chord go again? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Like I, it's, um, you know, I've had, times where i'm talking to someone it could be a business conversation or anything and a tune comes on it's like a like a add i just completely like, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, i love it you must well, be thank brave you. thank you free. so much for having me i really enjoyed this this is like i have been i haven't been able to stop thinking about it all week and i was just ecstatic to be able to come on and share some stories with you guys and and uh, and and help you guys support local as well. You know, I think it's great what you guys are doing. It's fantastic. And anything I can ever help with, please drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to help out anywhere I can. You're so sweet. Thank you so much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. I think again, you bring so much joy to our community and the world. Um, I always tell every musician, thank you for the music. You know, that's really what life is about. And um, musicians bring so much soul and, and love to the world. And it's too, it's too bad because I do see um, often a lot of artists struggle, you know, to monetize their, their, um, their skill. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, if there's any way I can support musicians like, you know, yourself and having them come on board for Canadians to enjoy, I mean, yeah, likewise, ping that's me anytime. Right. We've got to stay positive and we'll get to the other side sooner than you even know it yeah peace out everyone so coast to coast to coast wherever you are in canada enjoy the rest of your sunday be blessed stay uh, keep well and be safe um and before we end just again um to go back to the yuck yucks contest i just want to give a thank you and a shout out to dylan black from dylan black radio you can find him on boom 99.7 he's another great community man and uh you gotta love that guy too so thank you everybody have a good night thank you kevin appreciate it thank you all right take okay, care rest of the weekend everyone have a great week this week i'll Bye. see you i'll see you next friday on my tgif <laughs> follow him and follow the Barrow Gangbusters, everyone. Take care. Absolutely. Come out. If you're in the National Capital Region, just check our page and we'll, we'll be somewhere. We'll be somewhere in a park <laughs> having, a, having a blast. Come and have a hoot with us. Sounds good. Good night, everybody.